Willow. Get him. So we don't do a lot of uh, entertainment type things in our house. Um, very rarely do we rely on like movies, hardly ever video games. Um, and so because of that, my kids tend to self-entertain very well. So I have some music playing. We have Seeds of Family Worship playing. If you haven't heard of them, you should look them up because um, they're a great way to have your kids memorize scripture and thinking on scripture all day, every day. They just take scriptures and make music to them. Um, but I have my older kids playing piano. They play educational board games. And then I keep lots of like, um, let's see, different types of like uh, kind of open-ended table activities. I got a lot of these think fun puzzles. This is the car one where you like have a card and you play the cards on there. Um, let's see what else I have. I have the brain train. If you've never seen that, it's like a math puzzle and you connect the tracks according to the math puzzle. And then the train actually moves on the tracks. That's a lot of fun. Um, I have a putty, like a putty puzzle. It's kind of like that game that you have on your phone where you got to connect the red dot with the other red dot, purple dot with the other purple dot, but it's actual putty, so they're not on a screen. So I keep a lot of that kind of stuff on hand. Here, I'll turn this so you guys can see it instead of me. I keep puzzles. These are brain blocks. If you have not heard of those, check out our website. Uh, different crafting stuff. It's the deputy train. Lots of educational books. What do I have in here? Play-Doh. Uh, Legos. Here's some more stuff. We have letter bots. We have more magnets. Some random toys that people didn't want to put away. Here's princess magnets. So I'll pull out our big whiteboard, which I don't know where our whiteboard is. Do you know where our whiteboard is? No, our big whiteboard. Oh, these little whiteboards are supposed to be in this basket here. Um, yeah, so I pull out our big whiteboard and they can play with magnets on the board and dry erase markers. There it is. It's got letters on it. Bring it over here. Thank you. So I keep a lot of that stuff on hand. Um, I also have like coloring books and things like that. And then I have some educational board games. I'll show you. So down here. All right, everybody head to your rooms for quiet time. Get settled, get some books, get what you want to get for quiet hour. So educational board games. We got chess. This is like a kid's chess that kind of teaches you how to play, which is kind of cool. Tall Tales is a language arts game. Go get ready for quiet time, buddy. Go get some books and toys and sit on your bed. Uh, it's like a language arts game, and every game is different, and it challenges you in, like, building stories. I have Continent Race, which is a geography game. Hey, Elias, you're not encouraging them to get ready for quiet time when you're in there screaming. I told you to get a couple books and get in your bed. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Tuttle Twins is a civics game. It talks about like uh, American government and economy and how it works. Another story game. Battleship Clue. This one here, family board game by Safe Hearts. That one's like a discussion game. So you talk about like, um, you know, if, if this situation were to happen, is that safe and how would you... Sorry guys, my audio cut out. Um, so basically you talk about situations, if they're safe and how you would handle them. That's Founding Fathers, um, an American civics game that is Liberty Checkers. It's similar to regular checkers, but it goes over the principles of our nation. Um, that's an ancient Egyptian game. This is like a board game with these beads. It has, I think, 15 different games in it that you can play, like bad mit bag mitten, bad bad backgammon also all these cards here um regular decks of cards and uno and blank and games like that 
So that is our board game cupboard. Another thing that I noticed and love is how much my kids read. So if you see there, Haven's reading a historical biography. Ahava is playing piano. She's practicing a new piece that she's interested in. Um, Alicia just walked in to get a different book, um, a new book that she's reading. We also have the Tuttle Twin books that are a lot of fun. Um, pretty much all the reading material that I provide for my children are not just empty, but um, are historical or science or biography or full of character and biblical knowledge. Um, so I just want to encourage you guys to not feel like you have to entertain your children all the time, but allow them to be bored, not unconstructed boredness, um, where kids get into trouble, but use that boredom to teach and to train your kids to be creative and to gain skills and to spend their time amusing themselves, um, in a way that's not empty and fruitless. So I hope that encourages you guys and gives you some ideas on how to stock up your home. God bless.